Hey, guys. What you said? The Lenovsky? Mike. It's your sticks. You forgot your sticks. Oh, thanks. I need these. Steve, you need seat. this, baby. Yeah, I do. Come on. Nick, guys, sit down, baby. Thanks, so Steve. here you guys are. Dave. Yeah, so yeah, here they are. Hello. Jeez. Uh, Damn. Ooh. Where have you guys been, man? It's been lonely here without <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeesh. Tough one, huh? Tough body. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> The Picaro boys, the Picaro brothers grew up, uh, initially we were all drummers. Um, my earliest memories, first of all, are of Jeff and I sleeping in front of the washing machine because that was the only way we could fall asleep for our naps. Uh, we would uh, grab our blankies and lay down in front of the washing machine and in the 50s it was like chick -chick -chick. I mean they were so full, man, the way machines would function and uh, and and that would soothe us and we would like fall asleep you know it's kind of like that drone of, of rhythm you know so uh, we all initially uh, were playing drums and, and all initially took drum lessons and uh, I'd like to say that you know it, we got tired of fighting over the drum set at the house and that's why one brother went one way and one brother went the other way Surprisingly, well not surprisingly enough, but Steve right away, uh, Steve was studying piano from the time he was five years old, so I think he was pretty much set with piano by the time he got into adolescence. But uh, that's when I switched over to bass, and uh, been playing bass ever since, man, that's the way it's been. Stage fright. Uh, you know, everybody, every musician, every performer, I think, has um, a little bit of, of anxiety, varying degrees depending on the person. I mean, there's some of the greatest singers and musicians um, in the world are scared to death when they're on stage, and some of them it keeps them from performing and, and touring. Um, everybody deals with it. Um, to me, it's just experience over the years, and especially once you you got that show under your belt, and and, and then you start to relax. Uh, but it's always the first tune jitters. You know, is, this, is is the audience there? What kind of audience do we have? Are we catching them? Are they alive? Are they are they energized? You, know, you kick off that first number, and you want to play so good, and you want it just to be you know the best, and and get people you know get them in your grasp right away. And uh, so uh, there's there's certain you know certain gigs are bigger than other gigs. Uh, we, we play our best every gig, but certain gigs are more important as people out there in the audience, uh, uh, you know, record company, whoever, important things going on behind the scenes, and you want to really impress. So so yeah, you'll have a little anxiety. It's a good thing. It it it's, it says I'm awake. It says I want to do my best. It says I'm really concerned about. Uh, how I'm coming across. It's, it's hard to get too nervous, you know, unless it's a really big gig or important gig, but that's good. I mean, it's a good, every, there's always anxiety, first two, but it, it's good. I, for me, it's not fright. I'm not up there afraid. I'm just up there like wanting the band to 
kick butt and get to the lock it in right from the get go and to have people going wow within eight measures, you know. And that kind of anxiety, that's good anxiety. many times, man. What a wonderful guy he was. Uh, Jeff was a human being like us all. Uh, you know, uh, but uh, he was such an enthusiastic guy, such an artist. He really had the heart of an artist and the mind of an artist. And, and uh, if he, to know Jeff was to love him. Most of you know, his friends who knew him, uh, you know, still uh, miss him very much and always will. Uh, it's a, it, it, it's, it's a great, it's a sphere of influence that that I miss a lot, even in the band. It's not there anymore. And, hey, this band, uh, Toto, was Jeff Carl and David Page's band. And the rest of us were asked in. And uh, so, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a blow for Toto, him not being around. We've got such a wonderful drummer in Simon Phillips. But we all miss Jeff a lot. And, uh, it's a shame. Life's a shame sometimes, you know. But uh, that's the way it is. Out of the darkness. A light appears. Better angels fly. Moments of redemption. Between you and I. Over and over and again.